name is Odarlin. And my name is Jackie. And today we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna do circle time, story time, and some fun activities. Are you excited? I sure am. Are you excited? I think they are. Are you guys ready to go? Let's go! Hi, Hi friends! It's Miss Nahima here. And Miss Erica. And we're here to do some fun salt activities today. Do you wanna join us? Come along. All right, for today's first project, we will be painting with salt. For this project, we would need salt, a dropper, or any Q-tip will do, paint, and water, and glue. So to begin, I will show you how I made these colors. Can you guys tell me what colors I already have? This one is red. What color is this one? Green. And what color is this one? Blue. So the next color I'll be making is yellow. How are you gonna make it? Well, I'll be making it by mixing water with paint. Ooh. Let's drop it in. If you guys don't have paint, maybe you can use food coloring too. Yes, that would be perfect. Then I'm gonna close it and shake it. What color do we have, friends? Yellow. So now that we have all our colors, we're gonna place them down. Next, we're gonna put on our gloves just to protect our hands. If you want to get messy, you can go. First step: take your glue stick and write whatever you want. So what I'm gonna write is. What should I write, Miss Erica? What's the letter of the day? The letter of the day is W, like watermelon. Ooh. So I'm gonna make a watermelon. I'm not the greatest artist, but I'll <laughs> do my best. Pretty good. <laughs> then I'm gonna get over it with enough glue. Make it nice and neat, friends. Are those the seeds? Yes, the seeds. In order to make watermelon, you need seeds. You plant them in the ground, and then you have a watermelon. Good job. Now, we're gonna take our salt, and we're gonna pour it on top of the glue. Let's see how this goes. This looks like the most fun part. Whoa. Make sure you pour enough salt so it sticks nice and well to the glue. All done. Then we're gonna shake, shake, shake and toss the excess salt in the trash. Be right back. I'm back. Now that we have our glue nicely stuck with our salt, it's gonna look a little something like this. It almost looks invisible next to the white, right? So now that you have no colors on your paper, we're gonna start dropping our colors in. Let's see how this works, friends. Right here, I have my dropper. I'm gonna make a rainbow watermelon because I love the rainbow. So, we're gonna take a little bit of, what color is it? Red. What if our friends don't have a dropper at home? Is there anything they can use, Miss Nahima? Yes, we can use a Q-tip or anything that absorbs the water. Or, you can use a cap and just pour it right along. Just don't get the paper too wet. Ready? Whoa, we have red. Let's see where to put the red. Where should I put the red, Miss Erica? Uh, how about on the inside where it's all juicy and sweet? Good idea. Oh my gosh, it's absorbing the paint and the water. So cute. Next, we'll add another color. What color should we add next? I think I'll do blue. So we put blue in our cap. We take a little blue. <gasps> Whoa, and what letter does blue begin with? B. 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 <laughs> B is for blue. I'm just I'll really be excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun activity. We should all be excited. Totally fun. We can do one of our seeds blue. Oh, it spreads in the salt. 
that's so cool. What if we only put one drop? How far do you think it'll go? Let's see. Whoa. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> so, you guys get to choose the next color. So far, we've used red and blue. What color should we use next? Green? All right, let's use green. So, we're gonna take a little bit of the green, put a little bit in the cap, drop it back in. Good job. So next, where should we put our green? How about right here where there's the rest of the salt here? Nice. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look how the salt absorbs the water. Good job, friends. So the last color we can put is yellow. This is yellow. What letter does yellow start with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of the yellow. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of the yellow. Put some in our tube. It's a little mixed with the green, but we'll do it. <laughs> and we're gonna drop, 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 drop. <gasps> oh, it's a bit too much. <laughs> it's it's okay. okay. Have as much fun as you like. And now that we're all done with our project, we have a colorful watermelon. Thank you for joining me. Let's go on to the next project. So I have a great idea too. And we can also use some salt. Thanks for making you laugh. You're welcome. So this is a sensory project. And you can use any colors you want, but I'm definitely gonna make a rainbow. As Miss Nahima said, it was her favorite. Okay, so you can just take markers, you can take crayons. If you wanna paint it and let it dry, that's also fun. But I'm gonna use some crayons. So I'm gonna do red first. And friends, what color does red start with? Er, 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 er. R. Red starts with R. The next color I'm going to use is yellow. It's going to be a very pretty rainbow. Wait till you see what we do. I'm going to put orange. So, you're going to need a tray so that you can hold the salt and it doesn't spill. I'm going to show you what to do. If you have an old shoe box, anything like that, you can also glue the paper down, but because I'm using the top to a box that I have, I don't wanna put glue on it, so I'm just gonna use some tape to tape it down. Okay. Here you go. You look so pretty, Ms. Erica. Yeah. <laughs> so this is gonna go at the bottom of your tray, and whatever salt you have left, you're gonna try to cover the whole paper. Let's pour it all in. And spread it around. And you're trying to cover all the colors. Okay. Whoa. Kinda looks like snow, Miss Nima. It does, it's very pretty. And you can make this at home and keep it. Yep. What season is snow in anyway? Is it a ball? No. <laughs> What season does snow come, you guys? Winter! <laughs> All right, so here's the fun part. You can use your finger and you're gonna write whatever you want. You can draw pictures and they're gonna be in rainbow color underneath. See, I made a circle. How about we practice some of our letters and numbers? What letter is this? Can you guess what letter this is? It's A! Hey, Miss Nahima, you wanna try? Yes, so I think I'll do the letter What letter did I make? P. The letter P, like purple. Or, or pumpkin. pumpkin. Or pumpkin. Or pear? Pear, I love pears. I love pears. <laughs> oh, now I'm hungry. All right, let's do one more thing. What can we do? Let's see. I'm gonna make a bunch of circles, and then we're gonna count. 
I love how each circle is a different color. Can we count how many circles I made? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight circles! Guys, that was so much fun. I'm so glad Miss Nakima invited me over to play with all this salt. <laughs> And I'm so glad we got to work together to do something that you could do at home using stuff that we all have. And thanks for joining us with two activities with materials you can find in your home. Come again. Bye. Bye. That was fun. Did you guys have fun? Awesome, because I know I did. If you guys want to have more fun with our Smart Start teachers, please come back tomorrow. And make sure that you like and subscribe. Thank, Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.